It is quarter to 4 a.m. And I'm gonna be here in the next five minutes to pick us up and take us to the balloons. It is very early. And we're getting used to waking up this early these days. Straight lines, empty spaces, untied, out of patience, all because of me. It's been so Second flight, people saying we don't want to fly. <laughs> <laughs> the balloon rides are magical, and you feel super safe. The people that control the balloons are so good at what they do, it's really stress free. So, Turkey has been amazing, and we've had the nicest and most accommodating people thus far where we stayed with. The Kavasari Hotel where we just came from, the guy helped us to track our parcel, that he phoned them and spoke to them in English, he organized all our tours for us. Literally, honestly, the nicest people. It felt like home. And today, we are staying in a cave hotel. This is insane, it is so beautiful. And once again, the people at this hotel are the nicest people. This place is amazing. Cappadocia for two, three days now, and it is amazing. So excited to start exploring tomorrow because I haven't had a chance to explore. We never move or travel in the week because it's stressful, but we really wanted to start this one hotel that was only open on the Wednesday. So we decided it's only 400 meters from our previous hotel, might as well try it and move. It's a very far 400 meters. <laughs> I forgot his passport there. They were so nice that they literally brought it to our new hotel. Yeah, a few hours kids up to that hotel. They're the coolest people ever. They like, yeah. This is uh, Sadar. Sadar. It's amazing. Most amazing hotel. Like the service and the guys are just so nice. Three hours later, I realized my phone is missing. Ended up leaving my phone in their car. With a mild panic. It's stressful. But our new hotel is awesome. Mm, very pretty. Now we can drink wine. And the Wi-Fi is amazing. It says it's five megabytes per second, which is really slow, but it's stable, so it is like amazing. I don't even know what 100 megabytes per second felt like anymore. I mean 200, you're supposed to like 200. 200. <laughs> but every order in Turkey, I think you can order a salad and you'll get bread. We ordered a meal for one of us. 
We got a bag of bread. There's bread with everything. Bread is really good, but um, you have you know, to order clay so pots. You get you get clay pots when you order food. It is amazing. We Actually, we can't pronounce it. Yeah, we can't pronounce it. it. Really I can't remember what it's called. Uh, we'll, we'll have to redo it. But basically, it's like what. The curry almost inside. Poiki. The poiki, sorry. Poiki inside like a clay pot, which is amazing. We had it last night. I think I licked out the plate because we just shared it because it was late and we had to wake up early. So we we're just like, we're just going to share something. Amazing. I hope this one is as good. This feels like a holiday. This is amazing. This feels like deja vu. Off? You're saying this for a third time because your <laughs> SD card was full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Um, red wine, Sisha. Shisha. Sisha. Sisha or sh Shisha? Sisha? I don't know. <laughs> I <remember>. <laughs> Sisha. <laughs> Shisha. Shisha. And an amazing view. But this is highly recommended. Balloons, amazing, but it's a bit overhyped, I'd say. But Cappadocia itself isn't overhyped because you don't read much about anything else but the balloons in Cappadocia. And everything else is just amazing here as well. And the people are cool. And the people are so nice, but Cappadocia is like, it's a little, it has like a little bit of magic to it. You know, how, like how Venice has this little bit of like magic to it? Mm -hmm. Cappadocia also has this magical feel to it. But it's also been a very long days. It has. We've been struggling to find nice coffee here, just like a nice cup of coffee, because it's either small Turkish coffees or bad machine coffee. And we were thinking that you should open a good coffee shop in Cappadocia because everybody here is constantly tired because you have to wake up at like before 4am to go on a balloon then you have to wake up again at like 5am to watch the balloons in the morning and at night you don't want to go to bed because it's just so beautiful, magical and the atmosphere is amazing thank you so much for watching and please click on that subscribe button